Yo, what's up guys, Steam here, and uh, I'm bringing you a pretty exciting tutorial today. It's uh, it's like a little intro idea for you guys that are just maybe starting out on Sim 4D and want to have some good techniques to make just a nice intro and maybe not do like what everyone does and use the random effect to just make the layers come in. Even though the random effect is cool, I'm not dissing, I'm not dissing, but you could probably tell a difference between my voice now. I've got my new headset set up. It's pretty sexy. It's the new LX3000, but uh, yeah, so I should sound crystal clear. Um, right, let's get started. We're gonna be making like something like this today, but as you can see, it starts off here and it's flat, and then it comes in, and then it just points, and then the production comes in. I mean, you know, you probably think that ah, it's crap, it's crap, but this is just for people that are starting out with maybe new intros. And want to have something different. So, uh, right, cool. Let's get into it. File new. And you want to go to straight away, you want to move the camera. And then you want to just go MoGraph, text object. I'm going to put in Steam for the first one. Uh, make the depth a bit to about 56. Um, I'm going to use a really curvy font for this called um, Boris Black's Box blocks even um, and then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit align it to the middle so and then what you want now is the tool so you want to go to melt uh, you want to drag drag melt into the text object straight away you can see that it's already sheared it off to the left but uh, it doesn't do anything if you press play so um, what we're gonna do about that is we're gonna if you come down to strength here and go down to 100%, make sure the timeline's at zero. Control, hold down control and click this little circle here. And then you want to come up to say about 50. If you don't want it too long, you don't want it like 100 frames longer, just coming together. And then you want to go all the way down to zero and then press, sh and then press it. Get control, click that again. So now we've got the whole motion of it coming together. And it just kind of looks a bit different compared to loads of other intros um, obviously with some color correction and some nice maybe flares used you can make it look a whole lot better anyway right cool uh, control C control V that if you want to you can I'm just gonna put productions down here uh, cool put the height down a lot move it across move it out you just you just press down your scroll button to get into these four windows by the way um, yeah it's the middle button not the right click not the left click the middle click uh, so cool that's there now maybe make it a bit smaller uh, put some caps on these if you want steps up Dun -dun. steps up makes it nice and curvy um, and see the steam, the production should come together as well. But I wanted to delay the productions a little bit, so all I have to do is go into the this timeline. So you can see it here, and all you need to go is go to the melt timeline, and then just drag up to say 65. So now it's going to take. So the steam comes in, and then the productions do. If you get it. So uh, just a few nice materials. Uh, you can just go color, make it a nice blue, say, luminance, make it the same color, but you want to, that's a bit purple, that's it, you want to turn it down a lot, but you say 10. Uh, reflection, bound to about 15, 14, and then Fresnel, you don't want it over about 50, because that's just way too, br like, so say 34. Uh, specular, crank that down, the width, crank this height up and yeah fall off to about 40 cool cool and you can just drag and drop that onto these two still not looking too great is it let's be honest so you want to come into here and go oh actually before you do that I'll just make it look a lot better control C and control V that material and go to the um, color and make it a really bright color and the luminance a bright color and put the luminance up a lot maybe the reflection up a bit as well and we're going to put that on both and then we're going to say oh well we put on the other one and then we're going to say R1 which puts it just on the sides the gap 
let's do that for both and right so now we've got it around the edges so now we need a render setting sorted out effect global illumination IR plus QMC still image fuse dip up to about 2 and put your gamma if you're about 11.5 to about 2.2 .2. makes the um, shadows more realistic Irid iridance cache comes here and go samples down to low and the record density down to low uh, maybe some ambient occlusion actually and maybe put that to about 300 uh, I'm going to use the HDR studio rig for this but you can use a sky it's still the same just load your material here and then put it onto the sky but uh, I've got the studio rig so I'm going to use that see my camera off I recommend this studio rig actually it's really good um, I'm going to use Studio 28 supplied by my man Acris HD in his old graphics pack. Um, and just give it a little render. Just working it out, working it out, working it out. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's looking nice. Steve Productions. But yeah, uh, maybe we what we want to do is see what it looks like when it's actually melting in so say here let's have a look at that yeah so as I said this isn't like an advanced tutorial or anything it's just if you're starting out and you want to know how to make a tutorial this is a uh, this is a nice way of making one and instead of having like productions at the bottom yeah see what I mean this looks pretty cool uh, instead of having productions at the bottom you could always put you can always change it, just go into the text object, object, you could go maybe youtube.com slash steam productions and you just have your little link fly in there cool 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 right that's pretty wrap, much wraps up for this tutorial um, let me know if you like these basic tutorials for people starting out on Cinema 4D and I'll do a, a load more for them of them for you guys so um yep thanks for watching i've been steam and uh i'll see you guys soon take it easy bye bye